Hello, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics, also known as Pond Guru, and in this video I'm going to show you the media in the Biohome range of sintered glass filter media. So this is the range of Biohome filter media. Starting on the top, at the left, this is the standard Biohome. It's a very small, light media, perfect for external filters, sump chambers, overhead filters, small internal filters that have a compartment for media basically anywhere where you would have filter media this will do well and it's very versatile as well because it can be broken up there you go you break it into really tiny pieces to get it into very small filters this next one here is biohome plus now structurally it's exactly the same as the ordinary biohome but it has an extra ingredient in it, giving it this red colour. And that ingredient contains a heck of a lot of trace elements which helps this media to set up with bacteria very quickly. This one's suitable for all the filters I mentioned with the ordinary biohome because in effect it's the same, but it does have that added ingredient. This next one here, this big fella, is Biohome Ultra. And this structure is actually a little bit different from the Biohome and the Biohome Plus. It's much more porous and for the size of it, it's very light. This one's perfect for koi shower systems, for use in sumps and large external filters. Now this one here has been especially manufactured for me. These two, very good for external filters. This one was the most porous and I actually felt this one was the best, but it wouldn't fit into external filters very well. So I had the manufacturers make this to my specifications. It's basically the same mix as the Biohome Ultra, but in a small pellet. And that is ultra porous. That is excellent. I'm selling quite a lot of that because people have come to realize that, especially for externals, this is the daddy. It's excellent. Now this one here, it looks a little bit like a very similar product from Eheim and in fact it can be used in place of that product from Eheim but this one has the added bonus of being able to be used in a moving bed filter so this one is actually buoyant and when you put it in a moving bed filter agitated with air it moves just like K1 and Helix but it has a massive surface area there I've actually broken a piece so you can see inside it it's like Maltesers and as this is moving in a moving bed filter the outer edges get scrubbed off opening up all these pathways it really is a very unique media and although this one is primarily designed for use in a moving bed filter it can also be used in an external no problem one thing worth noting for the biomotion is this white stuff here on the outer surfaces of the media is Montmorillite clay and what it does it gets scrubbed off as this media's wearing away and it conditions the water so there you've got a very good mix of excellent quality sintered glass media you've got small media which can be broken up even smaller for use in externals internals that have a chamber for the media overhead filters hang on filters sumps trickle towers all sorts of filters then you've got the big lad Ultra, which is suited to shower filters for koi, big external filters, sumps. That's a really good, large, porous media. And you've got Biomotion, which is the only sintered glass media that can be used in a moving bed filter. And this can actually be added to an existing moving bed filter that's using plastic media and it just boosts the surface area. Then you've got Biohome Mini Ultra, which is my personal favourite because it's, it's made to my specs. And that's ultra porous and small enough for use in almost any filter. Very popular one that. And they will come with some filter starter balls. And these are basically live bacteria in a gel ball. Just add that to the media. Basically just chuck them in 
in the filter, they'll dissolve over a period of a week or two and it'll help to colonize this media extremely quickly with good bacteria. And these can also be bought in packs of 50 separately. Just check out the link in the bottom of this video, you'll go to the eBay page. Now for a quick wick test. I'm going to use this stuff in here. Which is very blue. This is actually a fish treatment. I think it's WS3. And anybody that's used that knows that it really stains the water. So hopefully it'll stain the media. I'm not just going to repeat the test that I've seen for the likes of Seachem Matrix. Where you get some dude and he dips it in. It goes three quarters of the way in the liquid. And then he goes, ooh, look at that, it's sucking it up very quick. I'm just going to dip the very tip of these medias I'm going to test into this very blue liquid, and that will give a true wick test. This one is the standard bio home. That's fair going up. Bear in mind, there's only the tip of this media in the blue stuff. That's fairly absorbed that very quickly. This is Bio Home Plus. That one's going up pretty much the same speed as the ordinary Bio Home. After all, it is almost exactly the same, just got a few more added trace elements. gone up there quite quick as well. This is bio motion. It's starting to creep up there. It's not it's not exactly flying up. You can see that the internal structure that does have a hell of a surface area, but it's not exactly sucking that up very fast. It's taking it in a little bit. This one is the large version of Biohome Ultra. Again, just the tip's going to go in here. Get in there. That's a big lump of media, and you can see how that's absolutely devouring the blue stuff. Look at that. All the way to the top. That's actually now heavy with liquid. And last but not least, Biohome Mini Ultra. Dear me, that absolutely shot up that. Far and away the quickest. In fact, now I've got that all over my fingers. And again, that's gone heavy with liquid as well. Well, both versions of the Biohome Ultra Media showed phenomenal results. They literally just sucked it up. It was almost like they were sucking the liquid through a straw. That media is extremely porous, and even the other Biohome products are very porous indeed as well. The Biomotion didn't suck it up as quick because it actually uses an agent in there which hardens it. That's to, because it's a moving bed media and if it's bumping together it doesn't just want to break up like ordinary ceramic or sintered glass media would and that obviously retards how quickly it can suck the liquid up. But as you've seen from the inside of that media it does have a huge surface area inside it. Here's an example of how much media you get when you buy it in a specific quantity. That's the ordinary bio home. That's a kilo of it. That equates to roughly one litre of media. That's the bio home plus. Again, because it's fairly similar to the ordinary bio home, one kilo equates to approximately one litre as well. Now, because the bio motion is very light, I don't sell this per weight, I sell it per volume. And one litre of this equates to approximately 430 to 450 grams. That's the Biohome Ultra, and that's a kilo of it. 
and that equates to about 1.25 1.3 liters maybe if you stack it in very neatly it won't equate to quite the, that volume but um, there's quite a reasonable amount of media in there and lastly the bio home mini ultra that's a kilo of that and that equates to between 1.25 and 1.4 liters depending on how you pack it in so weight wise this one takes up the most space now sintered glass media isn't a new thing it's been around for years but these particular media are very good very long lasting but like all good filter media they do need a good level of foam filtration before them so if you had them in an external filter or an overhead filter or a sump or a trickle tower coarse medium fine foam followed by the filter media very important that increases the life of all the media make sure it's always working at its most efficient and it means that after six months or a year you're not going to be throwing this stuff away because it's clogged it's got a massive surface area and that surface area needs to be protected that's protected by your levels of foam that's very important you should easily get two to three years out of this if it's well protected now this bio home media is made ultimately of sand whereas a ceramic media would be made of clay now the process of making scented glass media and ceramic media is pretty much exactly the same you mix up your media put it in a kiln subject it to very high temperatures and then take it out and it's hardened so with scented glass media you do that with sand with ceramic media you do that with clay Sinted glass media does have a ridiculously big surface area although there'll no doubt be people argue against that in favor of ceramic media in my opinion and also a hell of a lot of other people in the know Sinted glass media does have the most surface area this stuff sets up extremely fast with bacteria as well because of this huge available surface area and the fact that it does it sucks water in it also creates a hell of an environment for bacteria it almost sucks them in as well and gives them a lovely little place to live this sets up very quickly you're talking 14 to 21 days in most circumstances that's very quick for a media to become nicely established with bacteria so there you have it that's the biohome media in all its forms explained if you're watching this on YouTube there'll be a link in the description below and if you're feeling that way inclined feel free to share this on your Facebook pages forums basically anywhere on the internet where you think people might benefit from looking at this media it is excellent media thanks for watching